fellas, if you got money, you can get women, okay? Now, if you got a lot of money, you can get some of the finest women in the world. So with that being said, I want you to know the way your woman look represents your income. <laughs> so I'm saying you ain't got to explain nothing to me. <laughs> I see this recession that hit a couple of y'all upside the head. talk about the truth while I'm on stage. Ladies, let me tell you something. Your man is with you because at this point in his life, you the best he can do right now. I know it hurt. I know. I know. But, but I'm telling you, if he find a way to get rich, your pink slip is on the way. Hey, your man get rich, I'm telling you, you cough the wrong way is over. <laughs> I can't do this no more. I, I got paper now. I ain't got to do it. <laughs> now, I'm actually, I'm here to help all the ladies. A lot of y'all didn't grow up with dads because your mom ran them away. Um, <laughs> no, no, you never heard his side of the story. That's why I'm here for you. <laughs> ladies, stop breaking up with your man for dumb reasons. A lot of women do stupid stuff like lead a man for cheating. <laughs> that is the dumbest reason ever to break up with a man. Would, would you gonna leave him and go get another man? <laughs> now it's a stranger cheating on you. Listen, everybody is gonna cheat on you. Look at you. Wouldn't you cheat on you? <laughs> I tell you, these new um, domestic abuse laws are making it very difficult to discipline your woman. <laughs> the police are not playing. When they knock on your door, fellas, they will take you to jail for something small like a knot on her head or something like that. <laughs> but a lot of y'all don't know, did you know if your girl got an injury, fellas, you going to jail. But if you got an injury, she going to jail also. <laughs> so you know how to play that. My girl was bothering me the other day. I was like, girl, you better leave me alone before I beat both of our ass. <laughs> how many of y'all fellas out there still sleep with your baby mama when you go visit your kids? I don't spend no time with my kids, really. I go, hey, little man, let me see you dance. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> I've been going here with your mama for a little while. <laughs> Come out sweaty. <laughs> Woo, let me see you dance again, little man. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> I'll catch you next time when I come through, man. I don't know you like that. Well, that marriage is a hard hustle. Hard hustle. Takes all the honesty out of the relationships. I look at the audience right now, and I see you fellas. I see the misery in your eyes. She, she found out about the comedy festival, you know, that's why you got her with you. I see it. Don't you just want to look at her and just be honest and be like, what are you bringing to the relationship besides some other dude kids? <laughs> A lot of women are like, you know, I don't know. What am I bringing to the relationship? Anyway, I said some mean things that were necessary tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you something about comedy. Comedy is a way to release the truth, and I'm going to be honest with you while I'm on stage. Listen, ladies, I want you to know, and y'all, most of y'all already know this. Ladies, after you have sex with a man, um, your bargaining chips are gone.
No, no, no. You need to know this. Your bargaining chips are out the door. So stop asking stupid questions after we have sex with you. I had sex with this one girl. She was like, where you been? I was like, <laughs> uh, working on the next girl I ain't slept with. <laughs>